Okay. So I haven't filmed in a sec. Oh, sorry. I'm getting all these texts coming through my computer. So annoying. Um, I haven't like filmed in a minute and I just wanted to talk to you guys. Um, obviously with the holiday season and stuff, a lot of stuff's been going on and we've been really busy. And then with everything happening, um, in my, I was going to say my state, but I don't live in a state in my, um, what the fuck is this? Shut up. I feel Shut up. In my province of Ontario, we're in lockdown for a month. So there's just been a lot of shit going on. A lot of stuff's happened. Um, and I just had to like focus on my family because it's the holiday times. And um, now that that's kind of settled down, what's the day? What day are we? We're December 30th, so um, New Year's Eve is tomorrow. Wait. Ew, New Year's Eve is tomorrow. That is so gross. Ew, that's literally disgusting. Um, so, like, I don't even have New Year's resolutions. Honestly, can I talk to you guys for real about, like, how stupid this year was? Um, I think we all can agree that this has just been, like, a really messy year. It's been a weird year. Um, like, just, like, the, the most fucked shit happened this year. For real. And it's, like, you, you, you don't even know what, what, like, what's happening. You don't know what the fuck is happening. You don't know what's going on. And I have no idea what's going to happen in 2021. I had, uh, I had like a vision for what this year was going to look like. I really did. I don't remember what that vision is now. Like I can honestly not tell you what the fuck that vision was, but I want to talk about 2020 for me, what it meant. Um, and yeah, so I would say like 2019 was a really big year for me in terms of just like changing and growing and learning a whole bunch of new stuff about myself and blah, 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 the shit that I always say, you guys always hear this. Um, but 2019 brought me a really great group of friends at the end of it and they know who they are. Um, they've changed my life completely and uh, on New Year's last year, so tw 2019, um, I went to, I went to two parties. I went to one party with this one group of people who I'm not really close with anymore. I don't really talk to anymore, um, which is fine. And then I made an appearance at another party because one of my friends called me and she was like, I'm oh, sorry, I, I need to fucking fix my hair. One second. Pause fucking pause bitch yeah i know we'll, we'll talk about it okay shut up <sighs> Stupid. um so i went to this other party because my friend was like miss gabby where the fuck are you you better come to this party and i was like you know what why not and the party was where this group of people that i had met i hadn't become super close with them at this point um, I had just kind of like been introduced to them. You know what I mean? Um, so we were like friendly, like, oh, like it's so hard to explain and I'm really stupid. Um, but basically, um, at this new year's party was where I met the full friend group. I really, I met everyone in the friend group at this new year's party I smoked in the garage with my friends and her boyfriend. Like, I met, I met these people and it was such a great, fucking, go die, go die, go fucking die. Um, it was such like a great experience. I met these people. I really just felt like safe around them. I felt like I had a great space around me. The people were like, they were just so sweet. They were so it was just like such a different scenario, not scenario. It was just like such a different scene of people that I was around. And I really wasn't around that before. I had a very like, you know, a smaller circle. Um, 
but then 2021 happened. And I remember we, me and my friend Tyler, we both said to each other, we were like, 2021 or 2020 is going to be such a great year for us. Like it's going to be the best year ever. And I have a way of jinxing literally everything, like every fucking thing, you guys, I will jinx it. So I just don't say shit anymore. I don't anticipate shit anymore. I just don't fucking care. <laughs> like, I seriously don't give a fuck. Um, and 2020 ended up being like the worst year for literally everyone. Like, I don't know one person except for like the fucking scientists that are, you know, be being paid like billions of dollars to make these vaccines or whatever. And that's a whole other fucking topic. Um, but I met these, like, I... I remember, so I met these people and we said, you know, like 2020 is going to be the best fucking year. And I made out with my friend Tyler in front of all of his fucking friends. It's my first time fucking meeting these people. And I made out with him in front of all of them. And it was just like the fucking funniest thing because he's gay. But in my opinion, like, ugh, like Tyler and I are lovers. Like we're fucking lovers. But Nick and I are also lovers. Like, that is, like, a, basically, like, an open relationship between us, but, like, non-sexual, but, like, we would all have sex with each other, but we won't, but we wouldn't, but we would. Like, we just are, like, a, like a trio of, like, and I love them so much. They are, like, honestly, the sweetest people, and they've helped me grow so much, and I spent 2020 with them, and Sophie, and Cece, um, those were my people. It was Tyler and Nick. They, um, they're really like, they really helped me just grow and they gave me a safe space to go to and they introduced me to things and they, and I bonded with them over things that I didn't think I would bond with people over. And, um, I really look at this year as like, Okay, I look at it in two ways, right? Because, like, if you know me, I'm a fucking lazy bitch. Like, I'm super fucking lazy. I don't like to do anything. I don't like to put effort into things. Like, I'm so bad at routine, okay? I can't, I cannot for the life of me get into a fucking routine. I don't know how the hell I'm going to, like, I, it's just, it's too much. Um, sorry, my computer keeps fucking, uh, whatever, shut up. Um, like, I, I have told myself, like, oh, you know, I want to wake up and I want to do, like, morning stretches and I want to eat this for breakfast and uh, all this shit that's not going to happen because I don't have the willpower. But these people in my life help me feel like I could achieve these things if I wanted to one day. Um, and, you know, I think that as such a true testament to this year was just... There was a lot of adversity. There was a lot of shit that was brought to, you know, like everyone's face. Like the world shut down. The fucking world shut down. Okay. And we were all forced to kind of like realize things and be like, oh shit. Like shit's fucked. Shit is fucked. Um, but honestly, if this year didn't happen... We obviously none of us would be where we are. I feel like things honestly happen for a reason. Like, bitch, I don't want to sound like one of those fucking stupid people who's like, everything happens for a reason. Like, I, I believe it. I believe it. But there are some people who are just so stupid about it. And it's like, bitch, you sound dumb as fuck. Like, you sound dumb as fuck. A fucking bus could pass you. I really believe that this happened for a reason. Like, seriously, bitch. You're, you're, you're psycho. You're actually, you are, um, there's something wrong with you. But I actually do think that 2020 happened for a reason because it really gave us all something to look back at. It gave us something to, um, to really just give us time to think about things, think about the importance of things. And, um, I just, this was a, a really interesting year. But when I look back on it, I'm looking back on the things that mattered the most to me. And that was being around the people that I loved and spending time with the people that care about me and that I care about. And, um, yeah, I honestly don't know what 2021 is going to bring. I have no idea. 
I don't even want to think about it. I just, like, I, I don't. I, it's, like, a lot to think about. And I really hope that I'm single still by the end of 2021. Because I need a fucking, like, I need at least until 2025. Okay? At least till 2025. Because then I think I'll be less annoyed about things. You know? So, yeah. I think that's... I don't know what's going to happen by the end of 2021, but I hope I'm single. <laughs> like, that's psycho. I'm actually crazy. Who the fuck thinks like this? But, you know, love is disgusting. Um, yeah, so I just, like, wanted to sit here and, like, talk to you guys. Um, but I'm going to go watch a fucking movie or something because I'm bored. Um, so toodles. <laughs>